take, let's get your take on this NFL Brazil thing. Uh, yeah. And, and let's let's hear your take. You got what's, something that you wanted to buy. Uh, what's, what's really going on? It's total, it's total bullshit. This is a guy who probably – I don't even know what player said this. Well, hold on. This, this is Josh Jacobs, by the way, which is a, one of the best running backs in the league. Okay. Yeah. He was probably told by like some equipment guy, it was some third or fourth conversation he heard it. Listen, the truth is, it is more to do with soccer than anything. There are two That's major all. teams in Sao Paulo, Corinthians and Palmeiras. One is a green team. Understand that one of the gangs in Brazil, they're literally called the red command their colors are red not green and remember the flag of brazil is green right so like yeah. that wouldn't make any sense the other major major gang in, in brazil pcc um they're i don't know if any colors are green so it has nothing to do with 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 colors it's more of a soccer thing and from what i understand it's not as pronounced as they think it is uh I think this is probably just something he heard from like a, a fourth level person. And, you know, I think he walked it back even. He even said that he got it wrong and, and apologized. Well, I got a buddy. I, I've been over there a couple of times. A, a buddy of mine lives over there and he said that the reason the green is not like there is because of, you're right, it has something to do with the rival of soccer, of one thing. But number one is gang usually don't like the colors of what they wear. So if they're red, well, obviously Bloods don't like Crips because they wear blue. But there's no, there's no other gang that wears green. And in fact, like I think we need to. No, understand. that's why they say they don't want green because they don't want green. You know, they don't wear green. That's what I'm saying. But even, right. even if that was the case, like uh, let's let's use the Crips and Bloods as an example. Like that'd be like, like if a fucking let's say this is the Blood neighborhood, or whatever. Just for example purposes, and the damn the Colts had to play the Titans out here. It's like, oh no, nah, they can't play here because they got blue. Like, like what? I just that just sounds. Well, crazy, here's bro. the thing, though. Here's my combatment against it. Like, Jeff is on on record on saying the same things that I am. When when you go out of your country and you go to these other countries, many third world countries, other ones that aren't very protected, and a lot of them do not like Westerners, Americans. Um, Brittany Griner. We've we've talked about her several times. You went to another country and did what you wouldn't even do in Texas or California because it's a felony. Why, in my question, why are we going to these places that is up in the air for something that could happen? That's my only question. Why are well, we think, putting our guys in harm's way is my well, question. Here's the thing, and th this is where I, I don't necessarily agree with you. San Paulo is not like a hellscape where like it, it's a regular city. It's it's a large city. It's one of the biggest cities and one of the biggest countries in the world. And, and, and to be fair, there are cities in this country that are more dangerous than San Paulo. Also, remember, these are not like um, and I mean, no disrespect here. These are not like most of the people in these gangs are like organized crime members. These are large scale drug trafficking organizations. They're not going to be around. Like these are in city centers where these people are probably going. I don't think this is any less dangerous than going to any other city in America. Um, it's not like we're going to Baghdad or or you know uh, you know something like that. That wouldn't make any sense. But I'm reading I'm reading a stat like so. Sao Sao Sa Paulo. I've been there. It, it, it's humongous. You can't ever get across right. it. It it it's cut its homicide rate by ninety percent apparently. And is this about as safe as what they equal Boston, Massachusetts now? But per capita, it's still one of the higher murder rate in the in the world per capita. So I don't know, like it's much higher than capita, San Francisco. It's much higher than New Orleans. It's much. But you have to understand they have significantly more people than the other groups in the top other 10 state. Or, yeah, yeah. Are. And remember, they're also not even in the top ten anymore. I, listen. I will tell you right now, and, and I think you guys all know this. If you, for instance, Philadelphia, okay, a lot of people don't realize within several blocks of that stadium, like 10 blocks, there's a really horrible neighborhood, right? I mean, it's just the truth. I think as long as like you – Temple University is in one of the worst oh, areas. In Cincinnati's in the horrible – in the hood, literally. Yeah. They're, they're over the Rhine, over the Rhine. Yeah, there's almost very bad places. I think Brazil, for the most part, is a very beautiful country. A lot of beautiful areas. It's dangerous just like any other place. But remember, this is the same league that goes to Mexico. Okay, Mexico's dangerous. Okay, very dangerous. 
Um, I don't remember. They also hosted the Olympics in Mecca or Brazil recently. Seemingly it was okay. I think they'll do their due diligence. This is a billion dollar organization. So I'm hoping they do their due diligence. I think they'll be fine. 